What's up everyone? I'm Luis. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys what's in the crates. Uh, but first, I would like to show uh, to share with you some new stuff I, I've, I've received in the past week. Um, starting with the City of, of the Living Dead set from Cauldron. Let's take this off. And... Um, as you can see, it's a standard little slip case there. Um, I do love this uh, artwork that they went with. At first, I was not uh, very impressed by it. Um, I thought it looked uh, just too, I don't know, generic. But once it's in hand, um, I think it looks a lot better in hand um, than it does in pictures. And look at that blood. That looks really good that's one of the pivotal scenes from the film and that is really good looking and of course you got the uh, zombies on fire there yeah I, I think it looks great actually and that's the back it's got some spot gloss as you can see and yeah I really love uh, the look of it and this is the back of the case. I really dig um, that retro look. It looks like an old VHS. Yeah, with the uh, lobby card type uh, pictures. And this is the iconic artwork that we all know and love from the US theatrical uh, poster art which includes that little disclaimer that was on the VHS releases. Yeah, I, I love that uh, artwork, that zombie head. And it does come with three discs. City of the Living Dead on 4K, All right? Uh, a bit disappointed that there's no artwork on the discs, but that's okay. Not that, it's just a minor nitpick. And uh, the Blu-ray and an extras disc. So three discs in a standard sized Blu-ray uh, 4K case. And this is the alternate artwork. The artwork on the reverse side of this is the same as what's on the slip case. Yeah, I really dig that. All right, so I've seen some comments online from folks that are disappointed that the CD, which is this, was not included in, was not uh, integrated into the case. But, uh, you know, it's, for me, it's a minor nitpick. I already have the soundtrack on a different CD I, I, um, I purchased uh, a few months ago from Diabolik DVD that contains the soundtrack to three of Fuji's films. So I already had that soundtrack. So it's, uh, you know, I don't really need this one, but it's nice to have. And it does include the artwork of the UK uh, poster. And as you can see, it's a thin cardboard. All right. That's the track listing. And the sticker sheet. Uh, I thought this was a silly idea until I got I, my package. I took it out and saw it, that it really is. Uh, it's kind of cute, to be honest. Yeah, I, I dig I dig the posters. <laughs> yeah, they're cool. And finally, it's got a mini poster. All right, it's got a mini poster of the U.S. art and the commissioned art. Um, uh, I know what side I'll be hanging. This one, my favorite. So yeah, there you have it. That's the Gates of Hell, a.k.a. City of the Living Dead, from Cauldron Films. Um, I'm going to be following these guys uh, for a long time. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? All right, let's put that aside. And I picked up this version of Dune. Let me see if I can just take this cover off and 
show you. It's still sealed. I bought it new. I picked it up new from eBay. It arrived uh, a few days ago. And take off that J card. And I think this is some kind of a iron an iron on thing. I'm not sure what it really is. And yeah, that's a pretty uh, pretty cool looking slip case. It's from Manta Lab. And it's a lenticular. 3D effect is spectacular. Um, yeah, I've yet to unbox, to unseal this, so I may do that later. It won't be on camera, but uh, I maybe at on some uh, future video I'll show you guys. Yeah, I really dig this. I dug the film. I didn't. I didn't care for it at first, uh, but um, I recently revisited the film on 4K and I really enjoyed it. So. That's Dune. I grabbed the 2K remaster of Secret Admirer from Kino. Really dig what Kino is doing with the uh, slip covers there. Um, I did own the Oliver version, uh, but this is a 2K remaster, and uh, the slip cover is very uh, gorgeous. It's a, it's a beautiful slip cover uh, of the. Uh, VHS artwork, so yeah, that's still sealed. One of my favorite '80s uh, teen comedies, if you will. Um, although I think the guys in this film may be college age or college age folks, young guys. But yeah, dig the film. I, did, I, I really love '80s movies. Because uh, I grew up during the 80s, so it's my decade. Here's The Walking Dead, season 11. For some reason, this is cheaper on Amazon than it is on Best Buy. Amazon was like 35 bucks, and Amazon wanted uh, 55 So, yeah, not sure what that's about. But, uh, yeah, Walking Dead, the final season. Um, I was really into this. Up until maybe season six, maybe season seven, uh, but then I I began to lose interest in um, in it after that. Shortly after, I have uh, of course watched every episode since then, since seven, and uh, on on physical media. But and I completely stopped watching it on TV uh, because uh, of the commercials. And you know, once you lose interest in something, you really don't want to go back to the. Um, watching it on TV, TV with commercials. So I picked up every subsequent Blu-ray release uh, of the series. And this is the 11th, which arrived a few days ago. And I intend to um, watch this thing pretty soon. What do you guys think? You love the series or did you? Uh, are, are you also sick of it? Uh, this is Dark, I'm sorry, Razorback with the alternate alternate artwork this is from shout factory this is a new release um apparently if you own the umbrella release you may not need to have this one because it has the same scan but i was glad to pick it up nevertheless because i did i i own the french steelbook which you guys saw in one of my videos but glad to pick that up and from Dark Force, their latest release, Kill Crazy. Right. And the girl from All in the Family is, is in this, uh, Danielle Brisbois. Cool little uh, late 80s action movie. I got the core on 4K. I like what Paramount is doing with these uh, slip covers. They're not... They're not plastering people's actors' faces all over the covers. Uh, the names are still there, but uh, you know you you don't see giant floating heads on these covers, and I hate seeing that. So I'm glad they're doing this style of of art. And this is the 4K edition, which which was just released. Glad to have that. Uh, the Last Emperor. This I had to import directly from Arrow because um, 
Orbit uh, DVD in the States was out of stock. And I uh, got that from Arrow and arrived pretty quickly. It didn't take too long. Yeah, glad to have this. This is uh, this was a blind buy. Um, but I am interested in historical epics, so glad to have that. And we'll be uh, look, uh, looking forward to, to watching the film. It's a pretty long film, close to three hours, if not more. Right, so... That's The Last Emperor on 4K. I picked up this media book of Iced on DVD. It's a DVD media book. And I've, I've been hearing about this movie on message boards for, for a long time. So I'm glad to finally be able to check that out. Iced on DVD. Hopefully someday... Somebody like Vinegar Syndrome would, would or put out a Blu-ray of it, if possible. And I grabbed this version of House by the Cemetery, which is my second favorite Lucio Fucci film after City of the Living Dead. And this is the artwork that I remember seeing from uh, newspaper ads from the back when the film was first released to, to, to U.S. theaters. Um... Uh, Back in maybe 83, 84, because the, the film was shot in 81, but it didn't make U.S. theaters until 84, I believe. And this is the artwork with this color scheme that I remember from the, uh, the ads, newspaper ads. So this is a 4K that also includes a Blu-ray, Region B, right? And it's a variation It's a variation of another media book I own. Right. I I like them both, but I do prefer this one because for the same for the reason I mentioned, it's the blue color scheme and the yellow font is what I remember from the um, the artwork in the US and of course the red of the blood of the knife there and the thunder so yeah so two versions of House by the Cemetery I love 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 these movies and finally I grab this sucker this is the Back to the Future Maniacs box set. Look at that. And this did cost me a pretty penny. Um, but, you know, the good thing about being single and having no kids is you can spend all your money on yourself. You can be a little selfish. And I did, you know, I was a little selfish and was able to, was able to splurge on this beautiful set. At, which contains three XL or extra large steelbooks. This is a reproduction of that uh, the date board that's in the car. I have not opened that yet. And here are the steelbooks. This is the original film. It's a lenticular, 4K. These are quite spectacular in my opinion i love these so it was worth every every penny i spent on these here's part two All right still sealed and part three oh, beautiful beautiful set and this is the interior of the box pretty deep it's got like a nice velvety feel to it that's the back. Right. Yeah, so, you know, sometimes you got to splurge on, on yourself. And, you know, be a little selfish sometimes. And just spend some of that, some of that money you work so hard for on yourself. It, that's, it's okay to do that, you know. Especially if, you know, you take care of your responsibilities first. Like you pay your bills, you pay your rent, whatever. And take care of your family if you have kids. And then, you know, you have some money left over, you can go... Spend it on you. Okay. So there you have it. And this Maniac set.
completes. This is like number three I also own, as you guys know. Logan and Blade Runner 2049. All right, so what's in the crates? We'll find out right now. In these crates is um, are, are basically movies that uh, I took off my shelves because of um, I buy a, I buy a lot of stuff. I'm always buying movies. Every week I get three, four, five titles. Sometimes more. There are weeks when I don't buy anything, but most times, most weeks, uh, I end up with several packages by Friday. So, and I am running out of sp of uh, space. So, I had to sacrifice uh, some titles, and they're all in these crates here, which I'm going to show you right now. And I want you guys to tell me if. I've made a mistake and taken the wrong movies out. And based on your comments and opinions, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, put these back on the shelves if need be. You know, if I have to, uh, I'll do some more reorganizing. So let's let's see what's in these crates. The top one, we got TC two thousand from Vinegar Syndrome. Uh, I should also mention that most of these are blind buys or movies I have not seen yet. Puppet Master. Let's see. Meat Cleaver Massacre. I got Moonlight. Maleficent. The majority of these are probably, you know, uh, I, I made a good, you know, uh, a good uh, ch a choice to remove them. This is a Swedish film, I believe. It's a um, post-apocalyptic film. It's called Dawn. That's the English title. All right, and I have not seen this yet, but it should be on my to-watch list because I love movies about the end of the world. And Murder Weapon, Deadly Embrace. Let's see here. We got Snake Girl and Silver Haired Witch from Arrow. And we got the Shohei Imamura set, The Ballad of Narayama. Um, this is a trio of films, Japanese films from the 80s. Put that aside for, not, for a moment. All right, Summer of 84. Vinegar Syndrome. This is quite nice. Look at that. That's a real beauty. All right? And yeah, that, not sure what if it's a from a partner label or if it's an if it's an actual Vinegar Syndrome title, but I'll figure I'll find out later on. And I've got The Battles Without Honor and Humanity, the complete trilogy. I I think these are the um, the later films. Right, put that aside for now. This is empty for now. It's a taboo box set to put all the movies inside, but that's empty. Put that there for now. Uh, this I won't be needing. Let's see. Get Carter. This is the this contains the U.S. remake. This was in my BFI set, which I took out. I don't need that. I, I don't need a Region B locked Blu-ray because I had a 4K version of that somewhere. So that, that, that's coming off. I showed this to you guys the last time. This is this is a DVD set. That opens up like that. Right? And it contains like a CD-sized little box. Box with. How do you open this? I have no idea. All right. Does it slide out? It might just slide out. Yeah, that slides out. But yeah, I, I don't need this because um, the film has since been released on 
remastered Blu-ray and 4K, so I won't be needing that. And here's some steel books. Let's see what do we got. Creature from Black Lagoon. That's a nice little black and white steel book there. That's a U.S. release. I got a French steel book of the third Riddick film. Yep. It's like the movie was okay, nothing special. Um, but it's not among my favorite Riddick uh, movies. Uh, Actually, I also don't like part two as much. The original is, of course, the better one. So, but yeah, this might come back on, go back on the shelves because I just, I love the steel book. I love how it looks. The movie was not so good, but it is what it is. Battle Beyond the Stars steel book. And I got a Turbo Kid steel book. I have not watched the film yet, so I don't know if, you know, I'm going to watch these movies and decide from there if I need to put them back on the shelf. Um, and of course, with your guys' opinions, uh, Dark Room, all right, let's see, put that there, yes. all right, I'm going to put this stuff floor and just put everything up on the table there's a lot of stuff in here there's box sets there's steel books there's individual movies a lot of stuff all right let's see what we got here um Michael Caine movie from Kino, Black Windmill. This is the second sight version of Sensor on Blu-ray. I don't know, guys. Should Is this movie good enough to go on the shelf, or is it um, not that good and it belongs in a hidden away in a crate somewhere? Another second sight. Hard box. This is raw. Another blind buy, and I have that, which I have not seen yet. So you, you guys tell me, do these movies belong on my shelf, or are they okay on in the crates? Let me know. Castle of a Creeping Flesh from Severn, and Au Revoir Less Than Fants, the uh, DVD version from Criterion, Blood Beat, Vinegar Syndrome. Uh, I tried to watch this. I, I couldn't get past the first 10, 15 minutes or so. So uh, I don't know. Uh, Absolution from Kino. Eye of the Needle. This is a Twilight Time release. Again, uh, many of these uh, were blind buys and which I have not seen yet, which is why the main reason, a good reason why they're also in these crates because, you know, you make these blind buys and you, you don't watch the movies, so they don't belong on a shelf taking up space, right? The shelves should be reserved for movies you love. Uh, so that's, that's my philosophy, at least. The stuff that you haven't watched that you may or may not enjoy should be, you know, set off to the side for, for a little while until you, you have the time to watch them, you know, and you watch them and you like them, you, they go back on the shelf. That's how, that's how it should work. Yeah, you shouldn't you shouldn't clutter up your your shelves with with a bunch a whole bunch of blind buys, you know that that you got on sale or whatever. If in the movies you you haven't seen the movies yet, so why should they be why should they be on a shelf? So take them down and put put them aside, put them in crates, you know, and watch them when you can later, and then you know you you decide then. Doll of Satan, uh, eighty eight. This has a nice velvety feel to uh, to the slip. All right, so that's Doll of Satan. Got Baby Blood. I got the Female Prisoner Scorpion set. All right. I'm not sure how many films. Let's see. It's just one, two, three, four, five, maybe five films. Or oh, four films and a... Actually, four films and a booklet. Yeah. So I got that. Put the box set with the other box sets. Stray Cat Rock. 
also from Arrow. So, back with the box sets. I got the Grindhouse edition of the Swimmer. This is the reissue edition. I think there were three versions that Grindhouse House put out. And this may be the third version. The one with the slipcase. Uh, Rosebud. The big bust out. This is a Shout exclusive. Skinned Deep from Severn. Uh, 90s film. Death Warmed Up. Australian horror flick. Pam Greer and Sheba Baby. Revenge of the Living Dead Girls, another French film. Pair of cult uh, films, The Roommates, and A Woman for All Men from uh, MPI Video. MPI, is it? Maybe it's somebody else. Oh, Gorgon. Yeah, from Gorgon. I got the Crypt of the Living Dead from Vinegar Syndrome with a bonus feature, House of the Living Dead. The Ebola Syndrome from Vinegar Syndrome. The Coca-Cola Kid. And Acapulco Goad from Code Red. All right, so on to crate number two. And in crate number two, you got the Homegrown Horrors, volume two. And volume one. So these movies are not, I'm not sure about. So, yeah. Not sure about those. I got a rabid steelbook from Arrow. Um, I don't remember if it's this film or Shivers that had some kind of uh, video issue that it necessitated a recall or a redo. I think it, I, it may have been Shivers, but that's rabid, which I quite like. I like the uh, steelbook. So I might put that back on the shelf. Um, this is a premium this is Cinderella. Uh, it's a quite a beautiful s set. Yeah, yeah, this is the live action film, and that's the back. And let me see if I can show you the actual steelbook. Uh, you know, I'm not really into these kinds of movies. Sometimes I make these purchases based on artwork. And it's something that we collectors all do, right? We, we, all, we all do things like this. We just buy some, We see something we like and we pick it up because we love the artwork. That's the steel book. It's um, debossed, I think. Is that what you call it? Yeah, no, no graphics on the steel book. And that's the back. So, yeah, you know, I, you know, I'm not really into movies. Again, I'm not into movies like this, but I'm going to give this movie, I'll give it a shot at some point and, uh, you know, I may like it. So we will see what happens. And another version of another premium steel book. This is Frozen with a lenticular cover there. This is a slip case. And there's the steel. That's the back. Just be careful with this because I may decide to sell this on eBay at some point. And that's the steel book. So got a bit of spot, spot gloss in there. Some glossy parts. Uh, it's got some art. This is a an on one art card. One art card, if that's what you call it. Still, or another card. Some more, a booklet, a couple of booklets. Yeah, and the slipcase. Yeah, you know, not into this stuff, but 
sometimes you get you get caught up with artwork that uh, you think it's worth spending money on. This is Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer. Um, as much as I like serial killer movies, I did hear some negative things about this, about the transfer. Um, essentially, uh, it's supposed to be not very good. Not one of uh, Arrow's best 4K scans, but I'm gonna put that aside for now. And you guys will tell me what your opinions are. This is the He Came From The Swamp, William Griffey collection. Right. A bunch of movies. Um, you know, uh, Arrow are a company that I also get um, carried away with sometimes, and I just buy, I blind buy um, um, a lot of the stuff based on cover art alone. And this may be one of those situations. Although I do, I do love horror movies, so I may enjoy some of these films, but until I can make an ass a proper assessment on the films themselves, I can't put this back on the shelf. And this is a preemie, as I call it. This is a premium edition of The Kingsman, Secret Service. I picked up a box set of all, of all the films from Best Buy earlier, well, late last year. So this kind of it became redundant so uh, but yeah that's a magnet let's see if I can show that to you it comes right off just a magnet and that's the actual steel book which I do love it's quite nice yeah that's quite nice I like it it's the back plain and the slipcase art there's even artwork inside the case, which is kind of, uh, kind of funny there, but whatever. And that's the back. And that's Kingsman, the Secret Service. But let's put that back. And um, put that back in there. Take care of that later. I don't want these videos to be too long. All right, so let's see what else we got. The Six String Samurai. Another film I just could not get into. Uh, I watched maybe 15, 20 minutes of it and said, nah, this, this ain't for me. But um, I think I may be, I may be uh, unfair because, you know, you, you, you don't give these movies enough time. Just watch, watch, try to watch an hour of it and then make up your mind. Le Grand Bouff, a buffet, a film by Marco Ferreri. This is from Arrow Academy. All right, the art house flick. Uh, this is a documentary, last action hero series. This is Jubilee from Criterion, it's on DVD. See here, more Criterions. I got Macbeth, Matinee Idol, Vinegar Syndrome, uh, more porn, Blue Ice. Got Southland Tales from Arrow, a movie I did not get upon first viewing. Viewing Rapture from Twilight Time. This is Rollerball from Death Has Blue Eyes, Nico Masterakis. Repo Man Criterion. Some 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 movies some of these movies I don't get. I don't understand. If I don't if I don't get a movie within the first twenty minutes, it, it comes out. It's got to come out. I I simply have no time to sit through movies, I'm trying to figure out what they mean. Saint Maud, Tenderness of the Wolves, Art House Flick, and Jackie Chan. A duo of films from Criterion, and let's see what else is in here. This is Crate Number Two. 
see. Remote control with a signature from somebody. I guess I'm guessing the director. All right. Uh, Colombiana. This is the carrier. Code red. Thigh screaming Marianne. Mother. This is a massacre gun. Retaliation. A lot of Asian movies. Asian gangster flicks. Um, okay, this is Dallas Buyers Club. A an Italian edition of Total Recall on 4K, which I understand has the better transfer of all the 4Ks of that version of this film. Dickstown. Uh, coming to America. This really should be on my shelf. Death Race 2000. The Possessed. More Arrow Art House. I have a Canadian steelbook of Equilibrium. I really enjoyed this film. That's the back. Why so serious? Look at that. And I have New York Ninja from Vinegar Syndrome. This is a um, an unfinished film that these guys dusted off and shot some new scenes for. Quite ambitious, but uh, I have yet to yet to see the results of that. Uh, patchwork. Uh, this is the 4K steelbook version of Reservoir Dogs, uh, which I did not need after I purchased the German box set. Uh, the same exact steelbook that's here is in that box set, so I don't need this version. So this is going to the sale pile. All right, let's see here. We have Superman the movie. Uh, I won't be needing this because there's a new box set coming out with uh, the first four films on 4K. So I won't be needing that. Massage Parlor, Parlor Murders, the new, um, the new 4K edition. I got this version of Hunger Games. This is another magnet. And that's the steelbook. There may be more than one film here. Let me just double check. This might this might be a trilogy. This might be an actual trilogy. And that's, yeah, it is. And it looks like it's a British set. Yeah. These are stacked discs. So, yeah, it's a it's a it's a it's a, a trilogy set. I'm not gonna get rid of this. This, I, you know, I love these films. I already have the 4K set, but I'm gonna keep this because of how cool it looks. And actually, I'm gonna put this back on the shelf. It just looks too cool. All right, so put that aside for now. I have two witches from Arrow. Another. Vinegar Syndrome, titled uh, Miami Connection. This might be a 4K. Um, let's see. Primal Rage, all right? This is, or has become redundant. There is a 4K coming up, so sale pile. Another redundant release, Skyline. As Shout Factory recently announced a 4K upgrade, I like uh, I, I like this one, and I do enjoy movies like this. You know, they're just popcorn fun. So, sale pile. And I have another version of Reservoir Dogs. This is another premium from Nova Media. Yeah, Nova Media, out of South Korea. Let me just show you real quick the steelbook, the steelbook artwork. There you go. Um, yeah, I, I don't need as many versions of this film. This film was 
for the for a long time the the quality of the blu-ray was subpar so um this kind of becomes redundant after they come out with the remastered uh, editions right so i don't need two versions and I have the Gamera sets. That's the High Sai era. And this is the Showa era films. So these are going to stay in these crates until I'm, I'm able to watch one or two of the films and decide. I'll decide then if I want to keep them on the shelf because they take up quite a bit of space there quite thick as you can see and graveyard graveyards of honor more asian gangster flicks so that's crate number two i made a bit of a mess let me just try and fix some of this before i take out the rest let's see bada beam bada boom there you go so what do you guys think so far? Have you found a lot of movies that uh, that you think belong back on the shelves? Just give me your honest opinions, please. Uh, this is going into the sale pile because I already have a premium version of that. So there you go. So yeah. Hey, good. Thank you very much. Off you go. All right. Oh, there's my Sin City uh, Collector's Edition. There. No wonder. Wonder what happened to that. Um, look at this. Lizard in a woman's skin. Why is that in here? Hmm. This is a Carlotta version. Car Carlotta is out of France, I believe. Yeah, so that's kind of like a, a digit book. Yeah, this, this really belongs on the shelf. Look at that awesome mark. Yeah, that's kind of cool. And, yeah, Lizard and a Woman's Skin. This is, uh, this is Fochi. This Fochi belongs on the shelf. It even has the CD soundtrack. Wow. You know, you, you sometimes buy stuff, and you, you take, you just take a quick glance, and then, put it away somewhere and it collects dust and that's the case here i'm gonna put that aside may want to put that back on the shelf uh what else i got malevolence there are three of these movies and i have all three some horror flicks i got the ambulance the man who fell to earth incident in a ghost land i'm gonna see if i can watch this i heard heard good things about it side for now a tale of two sisters uh another mil uh, film i did not really understand and it's gonna take a couple of more viewings for me to try to figure out what the hell's going on here but for now it's gonna have to go stay in these crates black christmas 2006 i think or is this the is this the latest remake i don't know i can't tell it might be the latest. This is Lamore Brock. It's a French film. Wake Up and Kill. Alright. And The Wicked Die Slow. This is from Code Red. Um, Wonder Women. Hot Nights of Linda. This is The Stylist from Arrow. This is a DVD... Uh, set which may contain a blu-ray i kept this because of the uh, packaging but you know what i don't really need this anymore so off to the sale pile and another asian gangster flick street mobster all right um i am gonna put this back on the shelf this is a cool set oh yeah this does not belong hidden away this belongs on my shelf baby 
This belongs on my shelf. What the hell are you doing hidden away in a milk crate? What's wrong with me? This is so cool. Oh my God. Oh my God, didn't know this had this. This is cool. You guys wanna see the rest of these? Hang on, let me show these to you. Whoa. Take that belly band off. How awesome is that? You guys are a fan of this film? Let me know. Cool. Oh boy. Jesus Christ. This is great. Yeah. This is great. This is some cards. I think this is, is that is that a poster in there? Very pleasant surprise there. This is a very nice surprise. Um, I guess I should I should have known this stuff was in here. Yeah, this is a poster. So cool, man. I'm gonna hang this baby up. I'm gonna hang that up. And some cards. And playing cards. Awesome. Very awesome. This is so cool. I mean, yeah, and of course the Blu-ray. Is there a Blu-ray in here? Jessica Alba. Oh my god, this is awesome. This is an awesome set. This is a 3D version. This is a 3D set. 3D Blu-ray. And this could be a soundtrack CD. It's four discs. It's four discs. Wow. Unbelievable. This, you know, I, this is so crazy. That's that's cool. That's awesome. Oh boy, yeah, this is going right back on the shelves, people. That's going right back on the shelves. Let's see. Um, since it, yep. Pick this up, and here we go. Sin City One. All right, since I like all of these steel books, especially this one, I'm gonna make an effort to make some room and put this back on there. Yep, that's gonna go right back on the shelf later. All right, nice find there, nice find. And this is a Brian House version I imported. This looks like a VHS. Kind of like a VHS uh, mock-up. Yeah. Looks like a beta tape. And this opens up to reveal some a booklet, I think. Cards. What is this? I'm not sure what this is. Might be a sticker. And two two discs. Um, I really dig this design. So this may actually go back on the shelf. What do you guys think? You gotta let me know if this belongs on the shelf. I like, I like that tape design. Real cool. Um... Some steel books. This is Zodiac Director's Cut. This is a US release and this is a British film with a British release of Zulu in steel book form. So, put that aside. You guys let me know. Um, let's see. Let's start here. This is like a like a, a treasure hunt, you know. Th these were on these were in crates for a long time collecting dust, uh, and I've forgotten that I've had some of this stuff. But now I'm discovering like it's, it's like finding treasure. So here's the Shape of Water 4K, good movie. This was good. 
So this might go back on the shelf at some point. Here's Malevolence 2 with um, Alexandra Daddario. Uh, Shriek of the Mutilated, a Bigfoot movie I did not really enjoy, to be honest. This uh, is from Vinegar Syndrome. Here's Zone Troopers from Kino. I enjoyed this film, but um, the special effects, if you can call it that, were so lousy that they kind of took me out of the movie, so you belong in the crates, sucker. Uh, this is the Severn Films edition of The Devil's Honey. This is a Lucio Fucci film. I also have the 88 Films version, which is, is on my shelf. Another Severn, uh, uh, Orphan. Massacre in Dinosaur Valley. Valley. I've got the 88 films on the shelf. Sex World 4K. Vinegar Syndrome. Okay. Wanda Nevada. This is the Mafu Cage from Scorpion. 2011 version of The Thing. Um... Put that aside for a minute. Um, more Vinegar Syndrome stuff. Hellbent. From noon till three. And the 11th Commandment. Right? So, a lot of Vinegar Syndrome stuff. Put that aside. Malevolence 3. I got the Woman. Arrow. Blu-ray. White Buffalo, this is being remastered and reissued uh, at some point by Kino. The Walk, Star Vehicle, Zombie High, and Zeter from Code Red. Right. Let's see what else. Perfect Strangers from Vinegar Syndrome. What else? What else? Unmasked 25, Vinegar Syndrome. This is Black Candles, a film I did not uh, like very much, but will, but that I will keep. Planes, Trains, and Automobiles on Blu-ray. Videodrome, standard version from Arrow. Empire Lovers. Got the Taboo 4. Taboo 1. French film, Etoile. It was Jennifer Connelly. This is said to be the inspiration for Black Swan. And the Young Psycho Girls. Dark Force Entertainment. What else? Car Ticket to Hawaii, Sadists of Notre Dame, Sound of Music, Psychomania, Okay, so we got Extra 3, Movie Sucked. We got the Ghost Warrior and House Where Evil Dwells, Z for Zachariah, who? Wolf Guy, Wild Palms, Summer Camp Girls, Black and Blue, The Terror, Roger Corman, the crappy 4K edition of T2 on 4K, on 4K, looks like crap, did I say that already? Virgin Witch, a pair of uh, Adam's Family movies on Blu-ray, Public Affairs, Vinegar Syndrome, 
Scum, a uh, British film. And Last House on Massacre Street with Wild Little Bunch. Yeah, many of these films uh, I probably will never, never, never see. Um, I don't know, just don't have the time to go through a lot of this stuff. I wish I did, but it is what it is, right, guys? All right, so this is Vigil, a New Zealand film. For Massacre Video, you got Toxic Zombies. This is Zatoichi. I think this may be a recent or modern remake on Steelbook. Takashi Kitano. Terraformers. This is Vampire Circus. This is your The Hunter from the Future. Nice uh, slipcover Yeti. And A Woman's Torment. And this is just a, a box set for Lost Season 4. All right, let's get on with the uh, next crate, shall we? Next up. First, I got to get rid of all this stuff. I will probably drop these and break something. I'm very clumsy. All right, what is in this one, guys? What's here? This is, our, I already showed you this. All right. All right, let's see what's in here. This is 16 Blocks, Adventures in Babysitting. Fun movie. Aloha, Bobby and Rose. The Electric Chair. Assault on Precinct, yeah, right. Assault on Paradise. The Arrival on 4K. Atomica, cool little uh, sci-fi flick. X and Kidnapped Coed, double feature. Black Rainbow. What else? Uh, Cyborg 2087 and Crimson Cult. This is the original Battles Without Honor and Humanity. Kinji Fukusaku. Fukas, Fukasaku's. And yeah, this is... I think this may be out of print. Put that aside for a minute. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. More vinegar syndrome. Lots of vinegar syndrome stuff. Deadline. Blue Vengeance. This is Corpse Grinders. Rest in Pieces. I didn't really like this one very much, to be honest. Shallow Grave. It's all right. Don't Go in the Woods Alone. One of the worst slasher movies ever made. With uh, a nice slipcover. And Raw Force. Pretty cool slip there. Yeah, look at that. Very nice artwork. Artwork. I love the artwork. I'm an artwork guy. Put that aside. I'm looking forward to all your comments, um, including the ones that are that are, that are critical of, of, of me. Uh, I, I accept, I welcome any kind of comment you guys may have, whether it's a criticism, whether it's a joke, whether it's uh, praise. I love the praise, uh, but yeah, I welcome all kinds of comments. Django, prepare a coffin. Dog Day, a movie I did not like very much, to be honest. Django the Bastard. The Devil, this is from Massacre Video. Might be a Filipino movie. Not, not really sure. Doctor Sleep. That's all right. Blood Diner. Breeders from Dark Force. 
Enter the Devil, another in Massacre video uh, film. A cool slip. This is Deadbeat by Dawn from Arrow. Dementia 13, the uh, Corman um, edition. I mean, Coppola, sorry. Restaurant video. Um, I love the new Vestron logo. Uh, what do you guys think? You agree with me? It's great. Uh, Blind Woman's Curse and 10. This is the Beach House, and City on Fire, Red Mob, Russian flick, a Russian Rambo wannabe, Space Hunter, Adventures in the Forbidden Zone, Molly Ringwald, really, hmm, interesting, Shanks from Olive, Count Dracula's Great Love. Barbarossa and Revenge of the Ninja. This is Picasso Trigger. Day of the Dolphin from uh, Indicator. Good movie. Dollman, 88 films. This is Everest. Good movie. Dark Blue. This is a great movie. This is Akita. Akira or Akira, not sure how you say it. Sorry if I mispronounce. That's the slipcase. This is the back. I, I, I am not into anime, but this is definitely one of the things that I picked up because I fell in love with the uh, style of the uh, packaging. And this is an art book, quite thick little art book. All right, and the steel book. It's really gorgeous, though. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous steel book. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, that really is nice. And there is some inner artwork. Yeah, this is Akira. Maybe be careful with this. I don't want to ruin this one. This may be worth some money. If I ever decide to sell it. And Amadeus. Amadeus, Amadeus. Um, this is Director's Cut. This is from HD Zeta. It's still sealed. That's the back. Right? And there's a steel book in there. And this is a movie I have never seen before. But um, this won some awards back in the day. And, you know, I, I may enjoy this one, but I'm going to keep it sealed for now. Amadeus, director's cut. Nice, very nice looking set. Uh, the Apartment. This is the Arrow Academy set. Got a little damage there. Yikes. The apartment. Uh, this is Amor Cord DVD set from Criterion. And Black Widow. Buddies. Bazemwa. Kino. Put that there for a minute. Burn Witch Burn. The Backlot Murders. This is Brothers Till We Die from 88 Films. This is in the Lindsay set. I just bought Executioner's Song. Action USA. Let's see. This is Class. Brute Force. Doom Watch. Eerie Midnight Horror Show from Code Red and Evil in the, in the Deep. Let's see, this is The Passing. Very 
vinegar syndrome, decoder, vinegar syndrome. This is uh, Hellmaster, Deadly Games 4K, it's a French film. This is Devil's Story, Evils of the Night, and Crimes of Passion. Metallic, kind of metallic sheen to that slip. Looks cool. All right, what else? I'm gonna pull this up. This is a Chucky Five film set from Universal. Um, yeah, complete collection. Criterion DVD, Class Two's Class Two Risks. Dream Demon. Okay. Experiment in Terror. Uh, Enter the Ninja. Evil Ed. The Banker. Dark Sky Entertainment. The Fifth Wave. This was okay. Enjoyable, I thought. The criminal, or just criminal, with all these guys, and Wonder Woman, Bad Boy Bubby, um, Umbrella, The Awakening, from Imprint, and Charlie's Angels, 4K. That's it for this crate, and got one more to go, and you will would have seen everything. Werewolf Woman. This is from Raro Video. Street Law. Slayground. Punk Vacation. The Boy. This is a cool looking media book, but I have not seen the film, so I don't know if it's good or not. I might check it out tonight. If it's a good, I'll put it on the shelf, because I really I really like this steel book. This, uh, I'm sorry, media book. It's kind of cool looking. Put that aside for a minute. All right, the boy. Put this aside. Dr. Jekyll and uh, Miss Osborne. Blood on Satan's Claw. This is a UK release. Bloodthirsty Trilogy. Pair, uh, some films, some Asian films, horror films, vampire stuff. Ship of Fools and Deadly Daphne's Revenge from Vinegar Syndrome. Eye of the Labyrinth or In the Labyrinth. This is BMX Bandits. The Baby. Barcaro. Black Klansman on 4K. Baby, it's you. Right. We got Ator, the Fighting Eagle. Nice embossing on that uh, slipcover. This is from uh, Code Red. Got the Black Panther on 4K. The uh, Mr. Rogers uh, film with Tom Hanks. Blood Sucking Freaks, 88 films. Annihilation, a movie I did not get. The Americano from Olive. Here's a Bruce Lee Greatest Hits set from Criterion. Some of you may ask yourselves, what the hell is that doing in there? It should be on your shelf, buddy. I got Whoopi Goldberg and the Associate. Um, this is Alan Brista, another Criterion. I got Sorceress. All right, uh, Star Slammer, Scalpel. Yep, oh, another one. I'm gonna get creamed on Braveheart. Breezy, 
Ready Player One, Bobby Joe and the Outlaw, Back Roads, and uh, Robot Jocks. This is a German uh, release on Blu-ray. Voyage of the Rock Aliens. And I picked up the 4K of 88 films of this film, so I won't be needing this version. This may go to the sale pile, or it may just go in my, back in the crates. It depends on certain factors. Uh, the Beast in Heat. Doctor and the Devils. Death Dealer. Demoniacs. Star Crystal. Stiletto. Blue collar from uh, Indicator. Body heat. Bilitis from uh, Fun City Editions. Bloodsuckers from Outer Space. Blue City. The Aviator. Behind the Mask. And Boarding House, the first ever shot on video film to be released theatrically, but way back in 1982. And that's how I saw it. I saw it in the theaters, 82 or 83. And it looked like crap then. It looks like crap now. Uh, the Comeback, Sweet Sugar, Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. And a young master from 88 Films. I love these uh, hard boxes. They're top quality and they're, they're very durable. So they're not going to get creased or cracked or any of that stuff. This is Running Time. A film with uh, the guy from Evil Dead, Bruce Campbell. Rage of Honor. Robin Hood. Stranded. A double feature of Bog and Mako. The Jaws of Death. This is from Dark Sky. Black Swan. Baby Driver. Cold Heaven. Crank. Blood Harvest. films all right we're almost uh, at the home stretch here guys so just a little bit more and uh, we're done this is color of night just get, get my bearings i don't want to mess up my tv color of night <clears throat> this is the boss this was initially in a in a box set See how thin these are? Yeah, these all came in, in one box set. Uh, the box set was damaged quite heavily by water somehow, uh, but these survived. So I just threw the box set away. This is the boss from Fernando de Leo. Bangkok Dangerous. Got Black Veil for Lisa. An American Hippie in Israel. A Candle for the Devil. And I've got the Crystal Lake Memories documentary signed by a whole bunch of people from the film. So yeah, this is a, a bit of a prized possession for me. This should be on my shelves, but um, I have so little space that I don't, I don't want to put any documentaries on the shelves. Just films, just movies. For now, just for now. Uh, and this is the last batch. This is Sundown, Vampire in Retreat, Sinfonica Erotica, a Jazz Franco film, The Swinging Cheerleaders, early 70s, Seizure, and last but not least, or last but very least, this uh, triple feature from Mill Creek containing... 
Brotherhood of Satan, which was reissued by Arrow, Torture Garden, and The Creeping Flesh. Yeah, I think these were have already been reissued um, in standalone versions. Uh, I could be wrong, but I, I know for a fact that I have this one on a separate Blu-ray from Arrow, which looks quite nice. All right, guys, so that's it. That's what was in my crates. Five milk crates full of movies. And here they all are. I'm going to have to put these all back together. Right? So you tell me what belongs on the shelves and what uh, could go back into the crates. Uh, I'm going to be expecting your opinions on your opinions. I'm I would like to hear your thoughts, and uh, I appreciate for watching the videos and for sticking with me. For now, uh, goodbye, and I hope you guys are doing well, and see you on my next video. Thanks.